So, you've survived the first wave of mongoose, and you think that you are safe. You hear something from outside. Your heart starts pounding. It sounds like fluttering. But birds are not real, so what the heck could it be? You hear a demonic screeching sound. <coughs> you look out the window, and you see the creature of your most lusting dreams and scariest nightmares, the winged mongoose, coming straight out of the legend part of the Book of Mongoose. So what is the winged mongoose, you might ask? Well, you know the story of how mongooses were created where they killed the cobra? Something was left out of that story, and we couldn't tell you all at once for your, for your mortal bodies cannot handle it. But the mongoose had a sibling. It was winged, and this monstrous beauty was cast out into the universe for trying to break the only law in the book of mongoose. It tried to befriend a cobra. Now, you might be wondering, how does it have a sibling? Well, I know it is hard to believe, but the parent of the mongoose is actually Shaggy. This is the mother and father of the mongoose, and it only 0.2% of his power to create them and form the matter you heard in the last one. But don't get that confused for the mongoose being weak. They once defeated Matt on Wii Sports with their eyes closed. Now, you might be wondering just how powerful Shaggy really is. Well, you know those infinity stones? <laughs> They were actually his kidney stones, using only 0.1% of his true power. Did you know when Shaggy was a young boy, Shaggy was eating purple grapes, thinking about a large man, and sneezed, which created Thanos along with his car. Now, back to how he survived the attack. Well, you might be wondering how a mongoose would get to your house from across the universe. Well, they were created by the most powerful being of all time, and they have wings. Why do you think Burns have been such a strong force for the government? So, right about now, you've already soiled yourself at least 10 times, and you're probably thinking of running. Or you could listen to me, because you will not escape by one running. You should be surrounded by fire. If not, then you wouldn't have even survived the first attack. Now let's get this clear. There's no way you can survive the winged mongoose in your mortal, unshagalized body. But there is someone that can help you. Someone, someone very special. You should already be familiar with this person. You should be praying to him on the daily basis. Shrek! But you need a way to summon him. This is very dangerous work. You could die if not done right. Shaggy would need mm, about 10% of his true power on this, so you know it's bad. You should already have onions scattered around your shrine to him, because everybody does have a shrine to him, just in case he ever visits you. You will need one to complete this task. What you must do is have the onion in your hand, and a picture of Shrek in the other, and a mongoose at your feet. One will always come to sacrifice themselves to Shrek once they realize they have been defeated. Now this is the most important part. You have to say Shrek three times while meowing between each one, because along with onions, cats are one of Shrek's true forms. <coughs> After that, scream Shrek, I beg you, and meow as loud as you possibly can. Shrek will appear as a gaseous state of onions first. You must give him the solid one with the most layers. Only then will he begin to help you. The reason you need Shrek to survive is because you need, because he is the one of the few beings that can fend off the mongoose slash mongoose bird hybrid. That is because Shrek is a cat along with an ogre. And cats are birds' weaknesses because cats can sense when robots are near. Shrek would, would begin to log onions the winged mongoose, taking them down by the thousands. If one comes near Shrek, his cat-like instincts will kick in and claws will retract from his hands like the ogre version of Wolverine. The battle will, wa will rage on for hours, and the only thing you could do is provide onions to Shrek and watch. After the war ends, you will give all your onions to Shrek to repay him so he doesn't use his cat-like powers against you. Now stay safe and have your onions at your side at all times. And if you're wondering how important onions are to Shrek, they are what beets are to regular mongooses.